Pacific cod. So people want to know, can I eat Pacific cod? Can I eat Pacific salmon? Uh, is there an issue? At this point, we have no information that, that, that there's any risk at all. Again, in an abundance of caution and complete due diligence on our part, we are um, communicating and, and uh, assessing any potential, uh, whether it's marine or freshwater, uh, uh, fish or wildlife of any type uh, with our partners at, in agriculture, fish and wildlife, uh, Department of Interior, National Marine Fishery Centers, uh, etc. So, um, so the, the current concern being obviously that <laughs> we're watching Japan, we're thinking that there's some sort of radiation fallout that gets into the oceans that's consumed by wildlife and then that we consume sure. the wildlife. Sure. Does that make sense? Does it make sense that we could have an exposure that way? Well, it makes sense. It's just not particularly scientifically based. Uh, the bioavailability and the uptake uh, and, and then the expression uh, it just doesn't just doesn't translate into... Those are all big words that I don't understand. Exactly. <laughs> Ex exactly. And that's, and that's but, why But make it so I can understand it. Okay. Is, is so, it a, so here's is the it? thing. That radioactivity by its very nature is unstable. It's throwing off radiation to try to become stable. Um, and it reacts to things as a result. It reacts to our, to, to our bodies when it comes in contact. It reacts to rainwater and it reacts to seawater. Um, the, the chemical composition of, of, of the entities that it interacts with will change its molecular makeup. And so what started out as uh, iodine-131 or radioactive iodine, by the time it falls into uh, 6 to 12 uh, percent salt seawater, changes into something else, which then, you know, so by the time uh, you get get up the food chain to uh, human ingestion, it's just really not the same uh, 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 molecular makeup as, as when it was initially in the air. So does that mean that we are confident that there's no risk to humans by ingesting fish? At this point, we are, one, I'm not an expert in fish. And so, again, as part of our due diligence, we are working with partners uh, who are experts um, and, and, and are providing that information to the public just as quickly as we can get it, um, uh, along with uh, uh, the feds as well, because um, frankly, there are you know this is a global marketplace, and people want to know not only what's going on in Oregon, but what about uh, uh, food and other products that come from other parts of the world. And so we know that we care about it, and we're trying to get accurate information to the public. So is that something? It sounds like you're going to get an answer to, to today. I don't know about today, but uh, just as quickly as we can, we certainly want to get that information out. Happy to share that with you. So, so the follow-up question obviously is, until we have that information, should we avoid eating Pacific no. salmon, Pacific no. cod? And why not then? Um, frankly, we don't eat enough fish. Fish is really good for you. Frankly, fish Even is... Even radioactive fish? <laughs> fish? Fish has a whole bunch of things that we might prefer not be in it, including mercury, cadmium, variety of heavy metals. Um, but but I mean, it's a, it's a legitimate question though. Let me just, one thing. Legitimate question. Until we have more information, should we avoid eating we fish out of the fish, Pacific? We know fish is good for you. We don't eat enough fish in this country. Uh, fish is healthy and, in fact, can provide uh, help and boost for your immune system for all types of environmental contaminants. Eat fish. 